Nice doing business with you. Time to collect my bounty. Work out. They've got the hawk. They know that it's being taken, but they just can't get in there in time. Or can they? Chrono with Roche so low! He picks up the Aegis. He steals it away. They've got the supernova down out there. We're gonna get the kill on Yoar as well as Quinn. That's absolutely out of this world! Because now he's probably being kidney. He doesn't get anybody dead he's on this Chrono, but now he's, he's got another one. He's got the refreshments on to everybody! The whole side of Quincy crew is locked up. The Chrono Spheres are perfect from our team! down to half life and he's negative arm and they're ripping through him really quickly but is this is this the yolo play i think it is actually i think you just go for it oh, oh, there it is here we go what you did there we sat oh. the angus and the cogs push him up on the hill the echo friend does nothing apart from tickle the park they are in real trouble any mage will take out but nando is at least still fighting on the high ground where he made to kill off the storm the second spirit. they realize something has happened they go okay now it's time to trade, but even on the way Dyer's down, it's like we farm up here attack. as well, we farm up there. XETN are coming in to try and contest Rush up. They cannot win a fight against Fnatic when they also have Vegas for the Immortal. So the Ice Blast in, and then Echo Slam too early for Primo. Roshan's gonna punish him by just beating him down, but Nando will also arrive for the fight. Net, you're setting himself up for Thursday, and was just killed off by Roshan. But call that, it's a really good position for him. Ohio's gonna self grave at this point, but Fox with that mana void, he'll end up going down. They pick up the Dazzle, and there's also a nice little gem that will get into the hands of the Gyrocopter. So it's a two for two trade off. Black coming back further, gets a lucky bash onto the Templar Assassin, and Net, they know he's up there. The Vortex doesn't reveal him because he's just far enough away that the vision isn't there. So the Light Tracker race done, Mushy sitting on the cliff side. The Remnant will give them the perfect vision inside the pit. And now Black to the front line. Roshan actually taking the moment again. Two snatches in one game. Mushy goes to work. Nando is going to drop. The Jara being Yule set the up. There isn't a Light Strike ready to control. But it doesn't matter when Black is there. The Laguna Blade will actually get the kill. A triple kill for the Lena. So XETN, you may have taken Roshan chained and forced back. They commit the Crimson Guard pretty early, so a small defensive tool that MP may not have when the real fight breaks out. That darkness counter about to reset, and now yeah, it is nice. night, and they hunt. Jumping forward, but a beautiful Cogs by MS has prevents the universe initiation. Pussy in the back, he's out of mana, they don't have a duel for this fight. NPC's opportunity rushing in. Fada there as well. There's the chains. No follow-up just yet. The blinding light is going to force EG back Down. with no mana on the... Oh, oh, the He's done it! Steals the Aegis, takes it away from the clutches of NP, and makes it out too. Oh, that is a... And all of a sudden, it's VGJ inside the Roshan pit. They do have Gush available. They have Exorcism, more importantly. Yeah. If they want to commit that one, VG just say, all right, let's get out. Let's push out, let's push some of these lanes and see what we can do. Is Sumail going to go for it, Lumi? He pretty much has to, I feel like. And they, here comes a buyback. Yep, Exorcism is going to be used. The first orb going to scout out. Now he knows how low Roche is, as well as the TV Illusion giving some good intel. Sumail going in from the Ao has a static storm. He can drop that on Roche. Nice blink, War is punch. He catches Sumail with the silence. Sumail needs to use his yields defensively. In goes Crit. He snatches the Aegis. Crit's done it. He's bought some time. They take out the Tombstone to deal with this fight. It's going to be a dead undying, but they've lost Disruptor on the side as well as Tusk. It's EG coming out on top of the Rose Strike. Costs them one buyback to do so. But, oh, but they made it more interesting, right? I was going to run mid, blast the three players as they come in, so they can't like, completely push. All the rooms down and just broke down and just And then they have to fight against Mega Yeah. That range direct finally gone in the base during the, like, the bottom lane. Yeah, Onyx will get Roche. No way EG can test. They might go for a hook shot. They will. They'll try to steal it. He oh gets it! God. Universe makes play after play and it's another one. Oh my god. They'll probably die for it, but that's still oh my god. Like, a sick play from Universe yet again. Hook shot into Aegis. They kept the Deso hidden so they don't know that TNC have this damage output. And right, TNC this, will be able to get this. Oh, they're gonna TP in the Kotal. He's gonna come check. Oh, now they're coming. Oh, oh no, can no. they can they steal oh, this? Oh, oh they oh, oh, the blinding light! Kezu! Shit! He's still got Ravage! Secret can control this! 
Oh. Roshan is so low. Gosh. Pai checking it out just in time. Puppy going forward with the lift onto Raven. Raven, he's going to try and grab oh. some sort of steal. Oh, 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 and he got, got it. it. He got it. He Raven got it. was able to pick up the Aegis secret. Oh, They kind of fat Lord. fingered it. They didn't he pick it up it. that time. Dude. Boots of Traveler on cooldown, however, and the Nature's Prophet just TP top. Actually, he has no TP cooldown. <laughs> so, you know, all right, we can easily right. connect. How ballsy do you oh, want to be? Oh, the Iron Blast will hit on all four heroes, revealing the fact that Roshan's being done. Monet turning his attention. The Necro books are coming out. He'll have to beat the crap out of him to start with. Roshan down to 5k. VP, they need this. They need the Aegis as well as the Cheese if they can have any chance against LFY being two racks down against them. And it looks like for the moment, Rolling boulder, Afu, he jumps in! Where's the anger? He snatches it! Afu! You thief in the night! Afu wants to keep running! The site will put him down, but it only takes the Aegis the Immortal! VP, TP home! They needed that Aegis! They needed that for the fight! They've lost it! Yeah, I mean, they can take a pretty quick with Cross of Haze, but is this the fight you want to go for? Ravage cooling down, not up for another 30. Same as Doom. This is really good timing for them. The Roshan, it's gone. Weaver's gonna come in and grab it. Oh, the hood stomp, it connects. Who got the, Ramses gets the Aegis, Doom will fall. And it is a snatch, so the money and the experience going on over the Dire. Zai likely to fall here in the center of that blood right. the roar on over to the Tidehunter. Oh yes, a sound investment in my trade. Middle lane here, Bloodseeker in a lot of trouble. He's gotta get out of here, Nisha does a lot of damage. A gush, and it will allow the blood right to connect. He's gonna go for the TP pretty much right away, but now RTZ coming in a great ravage to follow. They really want the Weaver. They find him, and they get mid one on the Slardar. What? A like it's pretty safe to do so. Earth Spirit though in the neighborhood in a pretty cheeky little spot here where he could go for a Roche steal. Yeah, get your Roche clips ready, guys. Oh. This could be it. Armel misses the arrow. The Sunstrike gonna give some vision, so now we can time it. He has a very good idea of when Roche is gonna go down. Zai. Poised to strike. Here comes the roll with a stun to follow up. He gets times it. it perfectly. Gets the last hit as well. Zai Dota dies immediately. Wraith King, though, the one who dies on the TNC side, side does have reincarnation immediately. Arrow hits the DK as he goes blinking, and they kill the Husker. Wraith King's got no way to survive his second life. He's going to go down as well. And 33 somehow doesn't die. Zai with a magical little play to get Optic Gaming back in game number two. They're not done yet. They're going to get our mail. The Sunstrike, not enough to kill him off, but Zai is there to finish it. Well deserved kill going his way. And there's the tip. Zai. Yes. Minus armor. They, yeah, you can get involved. They are all weave too. That Dazzle Weave starts to add up pretty quickly. And KP with the Blink Dagger. However, there is a Pugna Ward, making it a lot harder to fight near that Roche Pit, taking lots of damage. Oh, no, to get the arrow onto the DA, and in fact, Moogie's able to drag uh, Lanham off to the side. Lanham just gets taken down immediately. Power Strike comes through. Dream Claws there onto two as well. Paparazzi lays down the Chrono, holds back the two of Mori, just trying to finish off Roche, but KP jumps in. The Warden, you get him down low. They are going to be able to get the snatch. KP gets the steal, and Newbie are cleaning up. Triple kill for SCCC. He'll get Young Eleven as well as KP jumps for, takes him down with the Illusory Orb. TP starting to come back in. Towards those shrines. Oh, he's back in the pit. SCC and KP going. Can he get KP again? snatches it again. A second time in the game. KP takes the Aegis. Now, at the back of last time, Newbie were able to win the fight off it. Can they do so again this time? They need more teammates. They're TPing over. Where's the cheese? Did anyone get it or did it get denied? I don't see a cheese anywhere. SCCC could get out of his. He leaps onto the high ground, gets earned and healed. They'll save SCCC. Now they're looking to go back in. The Netherworld still stands. Ori jumping into the pit. KP is still around. The legendary Aegis Snatcher. He's ready for again. He does it again. KP with the third Aegis Snatch in this game. Oh my goodness. Didn't they, they're going to take the team fight off the back of it. Ori's oh, down no for two back. minutes. Die back on the, the Templar Assassin. Okay. Three Aegis Snatches in one game. Very easy with the Chantry, she can just tank it. Let Roshan hit her instead. Oh yeah, between that and the healing ward, Enchantress will be full health. Plus, uh, they do have Epicenter, but without the Sven, I don't know how much they actually want to fight this. I feel like they should be a little bit reluctant here. 
And it looks like they're gonna go for it anyways as the Sand Just gonna a, lay it a out. bold sandstorm and then Burrow strikes to the other side of Cliff, so they can't really stop him. Oh. And they're gonna have to choose to fight for this Roshan underneath the sandstorm, constantly taking this damage of the healing ward. He's actually gonna wear out. So no, the damage is gonna be consistent, but Cuckoo's very low on this side here. He's gonna burst strike back in. Can he actually Who's got it? He gets a Cuckoo! He steals the ages, and now are they gonna be able to get out of two-man LSA? Oh. Cuckoo's back in and another round of sandstorm. Again. Look at this, Magnus, he's dead as well, and you are had to just leave the fight. He's been caught by the bedlam. He's gonna mant up a cuckoo catches him again with the epicenter. Cuckoo comes in clutch. He just wins a massive fight for team drop. He's about a quarter HP down. Three quarters to go. Wolf, so he knows that they saw. Remember, there's no RP for this fight. There's no Echo Slam for a full minute. So he can play relatively aggressive as he slights his way in block. with the flame guard. Will he commit for the steal? Roche, a, a tenth HP. He waves oh. in. He grabs the Aegis. He gets the kill too. What a disaster for Nigma. And he's still alive in the pit, fighting on. Two dead, and the chase now going straight onto GH. Make it three. Absolute catastrophe. What else can possibly go wrong for Nigma this game?